So Temple has like this event, a spring fling event, right? And it's in the middle of the day during the springtime. All the Temple students, all the college students go to there. And plus all the schools from the other surrounding like Lincoln, Cheney, they all go to Temple to this day for their spring fling. It's crazy. One year, some of the guys is going. Now, mind you, I'm in high school. I'm 17 years old at the time. I'm with some guys. They're in college, though. They're probably like sophomores or juniors. But me, I'm I'm 17. I'm hanging out with these guys. Probably had to dip school, leave early, senior year, do what I got to do. But I'm hanging with these guys. Boom. So the guy that invited me, the old head, I kind of look up to this dude. Like I said, he like a sophomore in college. He had a convertible. You know what I mean? And he would dress real fly. I used to dress like, you know, Versace and like the fly stuff, right? So I looked up to him. So he invited me to hang out with him. I'm there. I got, I got a little car now by this time. It don't matter. I can move around. So we go hang out. Don't you know we meet two sisters? It's a lot of his friends, though. And I'm like by myself. I skipped school. So I'm by myself. But I'm hanging with him. So it's two girls. One girl is younger than the other one. They sit there, But the girl he got was thick. The girl I got was older than his girl, and she was slim. She was, like, really, like, the first bougie, like, light-skinned girl I ever met. And they lived out in the suburbs, right? He got the young, thick, fine one, right? Boom. It's cool. And I got the older sister who was just as fine, just wasn't as thick. But she's fine, too. Mind you, I'm in high school. I lied to the girl and told her, no, I'm in college. I'm like these niggas. We all in college. Yada, 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 right? I'm just lying about everything, right? Comes around that I have to go on a prom. It's prom time, right? Cause that so all this is going on while I'm still dating this other girl, this grown-ass woman, right? So my man, he asked me, yo, what's going on with you and the girl? I'm like, who's such and such? He like, yeah, you know what I mean? Did you, um, I'm like, yeah, you know. What da 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 So... I told him I banged her, right? I'm 17. I'm not knowing. This nigga go back and ask her, like, and he didn't ask her. He's like, yeah, you know what I mean? That's why my homeboy fuck. What? This grown ass man goes and tells this girl, like, yeah, that's why, you know, my homeboy fucking on you and shit. She like, nigga, that nigga ain't fuck me. Like, he's my nigga. He cool. He probably could. But definitely now that you acting like he's talking about we fucking, he ain't fucking. So, of course, she called me. He called me, and I'm like, dog, did you ask her? He's like, yeah, why would you lie? Why would I lie? Why would you ask her, right? She mad at me, and he and he mad at me. I'm living a lie. Now, what you gotta understand about this whole situation is why we don't want to live a lie is because I'm lying to a nigga that's corny enough to act like. Yeah. So it's like the people that you trying to impress are not even worth impressing. The nigga that I'm lying to is not even a nigga worth lying to. Because in reality, he's not the nigga that you even supposed to tell that you fucking. Because if I was fucking it, he don't, he gonna get back and tell her I'm fucking her? I lose either way. You see what I'm saying? So it's like the people that we lying to, the people that we think we impressing, not even fucking worth us trying to impress them.